<laughs> oh, Metal Gear Solid 5, why you are so hated on and loved. But this is the thing why I like the game. Alright? And I hate the game. Alright. Uh because it's it's just a filler. Alright? It's like a good appetizer without the meal. Okay? Uh, but the appetizer in between are uh, good. You know, they're not bad. They're not terrible. Uh, you know, but Kojima and, you know, and Konami, you know, fucked up. You know, uh, I would say they fucked up more than usual because the game was a five years in development and they destroyed it. Uh, it it's not Metal Gear. It's not anything with it has to do with Metal Gear. It, it just feels half ass. Uh, it's an open world kind of game that it's empty. It's just a sandbox. If you want to play a sandbox, it's just a sandbox. There's just enemies here. It's boring. It's not fun. You got episodes in between. You got uh, chapters that with episodes that every time you complete a mission, you got credits and end credits. What is that? You know? So, uh, the game looks good uh, with the PS3 and the PS4 and Xbox One and Xbox 360. It looks good, but it's not a filler. It's not a game. It's not something that you want to complete in one in a week. I got bored with it. I dropped it. I forgot I, 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 forgot I had it. I destroyed it. Uh, I just said, you know what? I'm going to go somewhere else. Okay? I'm waiting for Uncharted 4 to come out. But uh, this is kind of pre-rant. But my review, I'm going to do that very shortly. Alright? Uh, it looks good. The opening is fantastic. It plays well. Uh, no glitching at all. But the cons. The missions are short, is cut and paste kind of gameplay. The loaded times between each mission is like oh, fucking long. Uh, when you start an episode, they're not missions. There's no storyline. There's no real story in between. It's a mismatched storyline. That uh, pretty much that that's what you have. That's the gameplay. Uh, you have listen to all the recordings to get most of the juice of the story. That's about it. Sorry. You know, if you want to look for a good fucking game, it's not it. You were waiting for five years uh, to answer all the stories and all the background. You're not going to have it. You know. And don't get me wrong. I love Metal Gear. I was a, I'm a big fan of Hideo Kojima. I was been... Playing. I've been playing since 1998 when I first got introduced of the first Metal Gear Solid, and since that I, I collect them all, even the uh, the uh, Tempo 64. But uh, I got one question: If you go and make an open world kind of game, why I can't fly like the helicopters or jets? Why can I use any of the uh, the road? stuff that you know I wanted to use like GTA 5 how about swimming how about using boats how about helicopters planes jets stuff like that to travel why is it I'm so stuck oh the same thing pretty much I'm stuck with one I'm stuck with using a truck a Jeep a horse that's it fast travel is a joke the pretty much the helicopters from in and out takes too long. If you upgraded it, it, it comes faster. But why have to use the helicopter anyway to get to point A to point B? Why can't I use that helicopter to just mow down my enemies? You know why is it that when you have a game like The Witcher Three, that's the same amount of time, five years of development, added so much content. Why is the DLCs are so fucking expensive? Why is microtransaction has to be in the game that knowing so you can 
complete the game without the DLCs. If they're going to be story DLCs, maybe. Uh, unlike Metal Gear Solid 5, unlike GTA 5, even The Witcher, this game is, is far apart from one idea to the next idea. Has to do with corporate hands, has to pretty much in a part of everybody else's idea. So if you are definitely wanting to do something better with this game, you're not going to get it. I would say there's a lot of small details, but it's you have to find it. Or go on YouTube to pretty much what other people find or buy the manual or you know the tips and tricks of it. But pretty much how they just tell you all this, they don't even explain most of the uh, stuff you could do. Uh, I just found out a week later I could find out I could disarm enemies. I could do a little neat tricks with uh, the enemy's AI. But that's about it. That's the only kind of fun you would have with your enemies. But if it was like an open world sandbox, what's the interaction with the non-playable characters? Meaning that if you're Afghanistan, why you can't interact with the people? There's no people in it. There's no rebel soldiers fighting against one another. In part 4, you you had that battle. I think on chapter 2, you were in, uh, in Mexico or South America fighting rebels and fighting uh, you know, private forces. And you could use both the private forces or uh, the rebels on your side. Where, what happened to that? What happened to all that juicy gameplay for the last 15 years? From indirect, uh, from directly from MGS2, MGS3, and 4. All that new gameplay. What happened to all that? Why a step back from gameplay? Why is a step back from everything else? You know, with the short missions, Grounds, I would say Ground Zero was a, a false of that. There was a false lie that the graphics we're gonna be good uh, for the PS3. When I got the Ground Zero for PS3, it was fucking awesome. But I bought it on the PS4 for uh, found the paint. And it looks completely different. It was, it was blurry. It was muggy. It was the texture was bland. Uh, so yeah, it's a superior force of PS4. It's meant for the next gen. I don't know why he was thinking about it not meant for last gen so why release ground zero for that the last gen and play um, as half ass port for a ps3 i don't know why but either way uh i'm disappointed in the game i i was hoping something better but i i didn't i i i got you know pretty much lied to Right, all that uh, story arc that you know, all that other stuff, even the great ratings they got, uh, great reviews they got from IGN, it's a lie because they didn't explain half the, the stuff that was missing, the bad, the real bad stuff that it came apart. You know, IGN, GameSpot, game trailers, game review, uh, whatever, they all got a 10 out of 10. My theory, they got paid for. It. It's a piece of shit game. It's a it's a poppycock motherfucking game that all you who waiting for is nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing exciting really happened. You know. So if you want to, ex you know, spend your time. It's fun to just go around shooting people, going around just doing the same thing over and over again. Go right ahead. You know, spend your time, spend your week, you know, being bored. But this, pass it. Until they come out, when C. Kojima uh, stop making this anymore. But when Konami is, when they see they could fucked up, when they make it a better game in the future, then I will kind of consider it. But without his masterpiece, without his work, it's gonna be a half-assed thing, so don't pick it up, people. All right, guys, 
Uh, thanks for watching my show. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to be uh, releasing the history of Metal Gear. So, check it out. Alright? Take care, everyone. Ugh.